I have played a lot of Factorio, but my friends... How do I shoot you again? They're a different story. With Factorio's Space Age's release, I wanted to spread the love. This is going to be the oh whole God, game. Oh my God, these mining noises. <laughs> <laughs> and attempt my first Space Age win as a democracy. A vote to kill agent number three. I'll say I. 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 No, no, no. What? No, no, no. I, I, I think... Uh... But more players isn't necessarily a good thing. Can you guys crash into each other? Yes. Mm. Join me on my quest to beat Space Age with noobs. Previously on Space Age with Noobs. I wish I had a good quote. I'm a knucklehead. I never that What? <laughs> wait, wait. What? I just built my first car. I'm going to go crash it. Oh, what's the name of the save? Lamps and stuff. Oh, dude. Lamps and stuff. We're, 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 no, we have to wait till six. One more minute. I make the rules around 559. here. 5.59. 5.59. It's six o'clock somewhere. All right, same pass as before. Okay. Cat, cat boys back. are life. Cat boys are us. Yes. How many cat boys can you name? Zero. I still don't fully understand the concept. I just said it one time and now it's my entire personality. Now it's lore. All right. There yeah. will be a test. So uh, what percentage of, you, of your uh, viewership is a cat boy? I don't know, but I have seen the percentage of viewers that are females go from like 1% up to 6%. Ooh. Oh, so it's, damn. it's a declining number because those are not boys. Mm. And cat Actually, I don't, I don't know how it works. You might I, be able to well, be a I mean, girl and exactly. a cat boy. It might be genetically engineering as cat girls. It'll be robot cat girls first, for sure. It might be better if nobody explains it to you. Do you mean tell me that women can't be cat boys too? Well, I yes. don't know. I'm not the authority here. I can 100% tell you. Here. Do you mean to tell me you can tell the difference? <laughs> between women and cat boys or mm -hmm. yeah it's like the fucking mathematical prime constant problem Simple. yeah the only way to tell the difference is to become one <laughs> all right oh yeah you guys were down there that's all oh, right that's how it happens curiosity creates cat boys curiosity so creates the cat how do i ping on the map do i just double click Apparently it's like control alt click. Somebody commented. Control, yeah, control alt click. There, you see, I, I remembered oh for fuck's sake. I remembered one keybind, so I should uh, vote, vote kill. When does that go away? <laughs> Those will go away at some it point. It doesn't. Okay, it doesn't well I need I need to make a point. Uh crap. Um is there Those any place away. that to the right of it I can build another meme? Like right here? Uh absolutely not. How about right here? No. No, put, put them to the left. No, but this one is, I guess I could reverse it. Yeah, okay, I can do that. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm cooking something nice up. Okay. How's it going? Hey, hey, how is everybody? Good, do you have another like weird fucking to go to where there's strippers and stuff? <laughs> uh, no, not until, not until springtime. Oh, okay. Yeah, the strippers can't be outside in their, you know, swimsuits, that's right. Okay, are you moving the wall or should I just move the rail to be more in the wall? Uh, I can move the wall with my bare fucking hands. Uh, uh. All right, just to catch everyone up to speed, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna train the iron in to alleviate our low iron problems, which will give us more bullet and other things that will help us conquer the Western front. So we've been trying to do. Oh, mm. why don't we smelt here? There's a coal patch. Uh, we could. The thing is, it'd be kind of nice to have, like wherever we do smelting in like city blocks, it'd be nice to have the like blocks close to each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah we can, I mean, we could try and- Do we want to just pick a, a new location for the smelting? Average we... suburbia planning. The iron end of the coal? Yeah, I mean, we could start the blocks down here. There's kind of no reason not to. Yeah, I feel like we're in a good position. And if we just start building a whole bunch of infra for our existing iron smelting, that coal is going to run out and then we're going to be sad. Yeah, I mean, I don't, we could start like a smelting block right here and then because we got space. Well, we're going to be stripping down the entire smelting block anyway, whenever we get electric furnaces. So I don't oh, think it matters where it goes right now. And there's yeah, actually I'm, better like, furnaces than electric furnaces now because now there's the foundries and stuff. So. Yeah, but we could tear it down and put it in the same location too. I guess, yeah, 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 we'll figure it out what when I'm we get there. What I'm saying is that like, we don't even have like a, a concrete city block blueprint yet, do we? No, but we can, I mean, the, the important part is the trains, the other stuff we'll have to disassemble anyway. Yeah, I mean, the big thing with like the the blueprint right now is that like, if bots can't build it, it's just like, also we don't have like the yeah, over that, That's like, I don't even think we should start working on the city block until we get bots. Yeah, that's, that's fine. But like location wise for the smelting, like I think it, it's fine for it to start kind of where this giant iron mine is. 
Sure. Or like the, yeah, wherever you do the smelting. It just means you'll have to train the smelted iron back to the factory. Just fine. Yeah. Because we'll have to do that eventually anyways. Right. right. I understand why people start the game with nanobots now. Yeah. So we're we going one engine, four cars. Are we okay yeah. if I just start building? I mean, they could be smaller than that, but that's yeah. the the max. I think is probably fine. Yeah, that's a a good question. I mean, I think four tra four trains like in my head initially sounds like overkill, but at the same time, at some point, their stuff will probably want four trains for. So if we build the infra to handle four trains, like at some point, that'll be good. And uh, not... Just four four cars. Uh, yeah, yeah. W one one locomotive okay. for. Or are you saying? Yes. A, a one four. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Is that like your version four. of like two girls one cup? Yes. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. No, it's his preferred programming language. Fortran. <laughs> four oh, no, not the Fortran. What? What is an at-grade crossing, and how do I run over it while a train's coming? With a bicycle and make sure to hit the train. That's the that's the playbook. You know, it'd be really great is if you could just click on a ghost blueprint if you had the item in your inventory and it would just place it there you can achieve a facsimile by just pressing q really fast that's how i play the entire game i've well, never opened my really board. annoying now that the uh the rail angles are much more granular because now i click and that's like it's not quite on the right angle so it doesn't get rid of the ghost could you, could you please uh define facsimile he is a fax machine. Got it. Yeah. Like fax whenever I play something highway. that makes the noise, like there's a dial tone and the only way to make it stop is playing Factorio. <laughs> so you're saying you hear the dial tone in your head at all times? Yeah. Is the, the dial tone, tone in the in the room with us right now? Yes. Yeah. He's just standing there staring menacingly. Could you spell facsimile? Dude, hell no. Nope. F A X C I. No, I it's, uh, is it an X? M I L I E. There's no X. In. I thought not. Mm, uh, British spelling has an X. Yeah, this coal patch is under this forest. That's correct. So we need to delete the forest. Already on it. Hell yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna come down there and help you deforest. Look at all the valuable resources under this useless wood. <laughs> My favorite part about Factorio is there is no wood economy. Not that you know of. I know all. Uh-oh. Oh, you... Okay. So I just got the turrets are all out of ammo, and I thought it was because they were shooting at something, not because you just placed them. Uh -oh. Somebody put down a lot of turrets. Gotta keep them separated. Uh, I think I'm gonna start working on mill science, then, if we're... Yeah, it's good. If we appear to be pretty much done. Bro, I got one of those vertical mouses. Shit hurts my hand. Like Why? Why? Those things are so stupid. Because my fucking hand hurts. And I'm like, oh, maybe this will help, but then, oh, oh, well. The ones with like the really large frame or whatever? Yeah. What's a vertical mouse? Like a tower. It's at like a yeah. 57 degree angle and it's, you like put your hand on it in the in the same shape that you would like shake somebody's hand. Honestly, I've been thinking about that because the way I hold my mouse is not healthy and it's very small. And I'm thinking the bigger one would be better. I'm basically clenching with my thumb and pinky. Get a track ball. Same. Why would I? I play you, video games. Yeah. Why you you play your I actually really like mice that have a slight cant to them. I, I've used almost exclusively Rocat mice over the years because for some reason the way that they do their ergonomics is just superior in my brain. And I really like them. So go buy a Rocat mouse. Meow. Yeah, basically. Uh, it basically yeah. makes me a I cat boy. I mean, Amazon honestly. affiliate link. I, I can only click on affiliate links. Sorry, my browser blocked. <laughs> no, no, no. Sorry, I, I don't get I don't get Amazon bucks for that. Yeah, I'm gonna use this train and. I'll I'll be back. Don't worry. Never heard from again. <laughs> the entire team is here. I'm gonna use this street uh, train. So uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. I'm just getting cigarettes and milk. I like at this point these these woods aren't even in the way. We just want them gone. That's the only reason. Correct. The woods were never in the way. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Look at this sub suboptimal mining placement. Wow! Look at this easy. Not to having upgrade. undergrounds. Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't, what do you all have un against undergrounds? We they cost a fuck ton of gears. That's what. But we already made them. It's I think you guys just cost. have conflicting goals. It wants to remove all of the resources on the planet, and it sounds like uh, that's not within your shared goal. We are not the same. I just don't want to like have to upgrade design when we're like gear stars.
starve and make more gears. Yeah, see? we don't have the iron to make more gears, which is why we're expanding the iron. Yeah, I mean, well, it'll it'll figure itself out. This is more than enough iron for like an infinite amount of bread, whatever. Should we put a station up here as well? Because the output of this smelting. Yeah, I'll I'll make a station as soon as I get the. Uh... I got rails on me, so I can just throw it down. All right. I'll follow the blueprint. Oh, unless you, going unless you're going to do south. something. What are you saying? Coal north or south? Well, if you're going to go to the blueprint for the smelting, then north. Oh, you should also toss a couple radar down there if you haven't. Did you plan on having the stop be anything different than like the one that you placed down? That no. Can handle four. Okay, I'll just blueprint and make another one. There's got to be a better way to destroy the forest. Just you uh, wait. Oh, we have grenades. Yeah, if you want to use grenades. Ooh, let me try that. How do you throw grenades? If you, if you click on them, like if they're on your toolbar, if you click on them, you can then click on something in the overworld and you'll throw it at that thing if you're if it's close enough to throw it at. That works. I'm going back for another carton of milk. Anybody need anything? Yeah, can I get a pack of new ports? Yeah. Red belts. Red belts? Right. And medium poles. Okay. Are you guys doing iron down there? Damn. Nice. It's literally like crowdfunded fucking iron project. <laughs> <laughs> Weaponized. <laughs> Is there a stat for how much wood each player has gathered? Probably at some point. It, it, you'll see like at the end of the game, I think. Perfect. We had bricks to the belt. Uh, yeah, they're uh, oh, one tile down. to the left yep. of steel. Yeah. Far, far yeah. down. Is, is all this, all these power lines supposed to be on the grid or not yet? Probably not yet. Uh, what do you mean? Which power lines? Like all these big poles that go all the way down to where you guys are. Yeah, yeah, those can be connected. I mean, I don't, well, if we hit some kind of surge, like, you know, we'll, we'll find out quickly enough, but I think they can be connected and we'll see where we're at. All right, watch for sparks. <laughs> Average concerns. <laughs> do you see sparks? No. Does it smell bad? No, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta say, I do, I do love the smell of a nice popped capacitor. Ugh. Blue smoke of, of destiny. Yeah. Oh, we need to main belt coal. Fucking grenades. Oh, should we just make the grenades down there and train them up? What's the, it's just iron and coal? We could do that. It's iron, fine. iron plates and coal. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. How are them red belts coming? Good. I grabbed them. I'm just automating the medium poles and I'm going to bring a bunch down. So I'm going to automate chests because we're going to need a bunch of those. I love how the heavy armor is made out of 50 steel plates. <laughs> like it's literally just juggernaut status. Putting uh, steel chests in a wood chest is very, feels very weird. Very powerful. Yeah. yeah. God, I'm so are green circuits somewhere um, I can pick them up or do they all go into stuff? Oh, that's funny. I think they actually all go into stuff. <laughs> if you, yeah, if you like click into these buildings, you can grab a handful, no, but just, otherwise. Uh, right there. On my way. Oh, nice. OMW. Directly under the paint. There's actually a chest there. EY? Oh, lol. Oh, we are so good. Yeah. How back are we? So. Nice. <laughs> no, I'm going to make ASCII art cursed as fuck. What are you doing? I'm gonna run a rail line through it to deliver the grenades. No, no, <laughs> no, no, no. Not no, like, not no, through no. the art. I'm like between your arts, okay. not not okay. like directly. All right, I'll put the gun down. All right, I have a, I have a There's nothing DoorDash. a gun can do to me that I haven't done to myself. I have a DoorDash what? delivery for someone ordering at Red Belts and Medium Pools. What? Oh, you guys took too long. I went to your office and started taking the Red Belts out of your fucking <laughs> Bro, bro, we said 30 minutes. Yeah. I'm also stealing your car. Is that's it, like, my fine? car, but that's fine. <laughs> if you don't that's... get the delivery within a certain amount of time, the order's turning free. into like a WWE we, no, show match. <laughs> 
if you don't get the order in a certain amount of time, we go mug you type thing. Oh, nice. <laughs> It'll be a lot of uh, bleeping out this episode. I what, mean, what families? is there to bleep? This is all legal. Yeah. <laughs> Blank, we bleep you and bleep your family. <laughs> <laughs> I could use some medium poles, actually. <laughs> That's what I thought. Yeah, thanks. And then those splitters, yeah, if you need them. We're not making steel. We can't make medium poles because we are. we're not making steel because we don't have enough iron because the iron mine isn't running because we need medium poles to power it. Yeah, just use small poles for now, coward. No. <laughs> There's nothing small about me, even my poles. Brother. Hey, <laughs> Gazium. You know what they say? No, I don't. Please enlighten me. When in Rome, don't have a small pole. I don't Wait, think that's what they say. I Are think they like Rome? that, don't they? Are we in Rome? No, that's Greece you're thinking of. Oh, okay. Yeah. The uh, Greeks they're like they're small same. poles. Yeah, they're the same The same people. That's right. Rome is just Greece too. Gre Greece light, the DLC. <laughs> Greece, Greece lightning. Hey, you can't say that. What? Did someone die? Uh, no, I, I remember because uh, Greece, the original meaning of Greece lightning, right, is like something derogatory, right? So is it? Team, why did you upgrade that? I don't know because my uh, my mom had a Greek friend. She still has a Greek friend, but like you know, I remember going over like to their house or whatever, and she'd always, I'd ask her what that meant. And she's like, "Don't say that around them." I'm like, what? What? I think, <laughs> what? Yeah. I think your mom's fucking mom? with you, but maybe. <laughs> no, no, I am sure of this thing. I'll Google in a second. Just Hello. googling things he thinks are slurs. Yeah, dude. I took your yellow belts. You can make anything sound like a slur if you say it right. Oh my god, this new this new uh, rail routing, man. Look at this. Ah, oh, right above your Pepe. You're supposed to like mirror the dimples in his forehead, not do that. Eh. Just curving around everything. This is just oh yeah. Literally roller coaster tycoon. Just wait until we get the uh, raised sections. Oh, why do you want it to be yellow? Because there's it, it doesn't even consume half of a yellow belt. There's no need for it to be faster. It's just, we have infinite red belt. The bots are going to come in. I, I heard complaints earlier that we needed to be careful. Underground, about... underground red belts. Yeah, they're not Un that different. Underground reds take 40 fucking gears a piece. I mean, well, so every this, gear the build that he made is using less materials than it's not using more materials. It, using inefficient materials. No, it's not true. Yes, they are yeah, efficient. Yellow belts are less efficient. Not for this How task. They, they, they carry a certain number per second, and the number per second we need carried is less than the yellow belt. For the current task. Yes, but this will all be torn down and completely replaced by the time we have furnace that go any faster. I think the calculation for coal is that like one yellow belt of coal can feed like eight furnace stacks or like eight of these stacks, if that makes sense. So like the coal part of this could extend this eight times longer because it uses so much less coal than it uses iron. Mm -hmm. Hey, who limited my lamp production again? Me. So currently uh, more lamps. It's actually 15 times. Oh, anyway, it doesn't I, really matter. I acknowledge. I acknowledge that. And I still think red belts are the preferred solution. It's fine. I, I, I acknowledge your reality and substitute my own. Yeah. Hey, uh, wait, what's your name in here again? I can't fucking tell. I mean, oh. we should also do steel down here as well. I, don't know. I guess here, we can just start with this and then send it up and see what happens. Okay, if we're yes. are we doing split belts or are we doing singular belts? I need more protection up here. Like okay. half half coal, half iron, or are we doing a belt of each? I think we're doing belt of each is what we have right now, at least for what. Okay, down. so then it is forty-eight regular smelters per yellow belt, or forty-eight steel smelters per red belt. So it's a lot more than you would think. I'm going to unlimit the lamp production again because I need a lot and then I'll limit it again when I'm done. This is a threat. <laughs> You should uh, light up the whole rail line after that. Okay. You should. Uh, oh, that was easy. Light them up. What you should do is light put in up. like a lamp every like ten spaces, and then sync them to the uh, the rail signals. So like <laughs> to light up red or yellow, and then red when a train is coming. Ooh. Or reverse it, and then make you guys you know Die. by train. 
If you consider that those people just want to dive. I mean, yeah. Because they have to. Yeah, probably. Is there a cool overlay somewhere where I can see radar coverage? Um, I mean, it's in the map. anywhere where you can see that a person's not. So it's well, basically the, the map. The, where a person's not is the tricky part. <laughs> yeah, that's that. I don't know if you can do that. But yeah, I mean, the map is basically that. But what's the power? I don't power? think there's a radar. Yeah, what? I don't. Where's the, or do we know the power usage on? A radar? Uh, yeah, because I don't think it's very high. It's only high in like mods. It is 300 kilowatts. So not a lot. That's a lot for an earth radar. It's a ton. 300 gigawatts. Good thing we're not on Earth, Alamo. Do we have uh, upgrades for assemblers yet? Uh, you can make assembler twos, we just don't have them automated. Do you need them for something? I can. I'm just gonna replace one for the lamp one so it goes a little faster. Oh, and I can just pop it into place like that. What's the, what's the hot key to drop? Let's see. It's the hot key to drop the beat, am I right? <laughs> Dies of cringe. <laughs> Thanks. What, <laughs> any day. Uh, when you said, um, <laughs> what's the hotkey to drop? I was going to say Alt F4. <laughs> we should research. We have nothing to research yet. Yeah. Once yeah. we get military, we can keep going. But we only have mm. red and green. We're like building up Which the is... stuff that will let us read. Well, we actually have to do you oil processing automate, too. If you want to automate grenades down there, um, then we can start doing stuff. Okay. Yeah, I'll think about how to do that. I'm just gonna make a 1-1 one, one train for the grenades. Yeah, make like a 1-1 one, one station for them. Yep, I already have the station set up. Down here? Oh no, up, up here. Oh, okay. Someone... Yes? Is the topmost one going to be the grenade station? Yeah, getting okay. steel so I can make, well, a bunch of things, but a station first off. Yeah, I also need stuff so I can make the train. I've got like a jank steel set up down here. The current production is the splitters are oriented towards not making steel. Yes, yeah, they're probably biased. Because we were iron. out of iron. Yeah. Well, currently honest... it's the overflow that makes steel. Yeah, it should be soon, honestly. I feel like squeak through broke. Why can't I walk over lights without going all weird? They've disrespected you. Why do you think? Bro, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Good answer, Steve. For locomotives. You guys have the stuff to make them up in the north. I am currently making the engine units, but someone destroyed the uh Well, let's not play the blame game. Them. So I didn't say anyone no, in particular. I, I, I just said game. somebody. <laughs> yeah, somebody I mean, deconstructed everything but the assembler. So. Just the blame game except anonymous. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Destroyed my uh assembler what did to I do? build lights. So, no, didn't you? I know, but I like blaming you because it's. Ha, ha, ha. Shut up. Can't wait till we have bots so these forests don't fucking exist anymore. Are there right? fast, long inserters at any point? No. No. Oh, well, maybe now, but I don't think so. Yeah, you could make like a legendary one at some point, probably. What? Uh, oh. There are every single thing in the game has like different tiers of it. And in order to make them, you need to use quality modules. It's a whole thing. It's new. It's, uh, it's not worth worrying about if you're if you haven't done anything with it yet. Unless you're really into lights. I mean, yeah. Yeah, we don't we don't have to go for the win con right now. No, I, I think we might. Just right now. Okay. I have a train set up for the grenades now. Okay. Oh, you can assign groups. Yes. So the drop off part of the train thing got a lot easier. You just have to set up an interrupt for the train. Yeah, I haven't done any train scheduling yet. So. Yeah, I can once I get the enough steel to make car, oh, like a cargo wagon and a locomotive. Actually, if you can send a locomotive down here or something. Uh, I can't because I don't have the I need to go kill a forest to get the train down here. We haven't automated steel furnaces, have we? But yeah, they're in like the middle of the belt ish. They're also they might have an icon. No, they don't. I can give you some walls and turrets if you want to. I don't know what you're up to right now, but if you want to continue this wall that I built to the left or to the west of here. I do. Okay, here's I would love to. Oops, I gave you a bunch of bullshit. I'm sorry about that. Okay, my inventory is full of bullshit. <laughs> you got a lot of wood, brother. I couldn't drop it fast enough. Okay, um, I love that you can just go into somebody's inventory and just start taking shit. <laughs> it's like so oh, if you're close enough, you can do that. Oh, God, I Isn't shouldn't have fucking said anything. God damn it. That's awesome. <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> I'll give you some bullets, and that, that, should, that, should, that should be good. It cost four hundred thousand dollars to fire this weapon for twelve seconds. For five seconds. For it's five 12. minutes. No, it's the Shrek meme. It's a compound beam. Yeah, not fan. Nope. A biter uh -oh. attack unzips SMG. Yeah, someone's car is getting killed. Oh. Oh. Shit, they got the Civic, bro. Understandable. Hey, hey. hey Aries. You got any fucking lamps? You got any fucking... Any f you got, do you have any fucking lamps? <laughs> all right, I sent you the train. Thank you, thank you. I, I really liked making you pick all those up. You know what? Absolute worst. Oh, shit. I sent it to the wrong... Do you have a station? Um, it's Magnus 5. Like uh, a uh, kid who asks for food on the sidewalk, and you're, you're like, oh, I got a bag of Cheetos. Yeah, now, like okay. it's now, it's, now it's coming. Okay. Now it's, it's coming down to Magnus. I can read. You can read? Wow. There. That's not true. I just it, got an achievement for making a train path really far, so that's... Hell yeah. Okay, I'm going to rename this, you know, grenade emoji load. We're not getting enough coal by the way yeah the stuff at the main base is gonna get overhauled a little bit unless you're but talking what, like the what about generation the of power if yeah there's generation there's the upper rack of generators is starved for coal right now oh so yeah if you wanna you could I'll like expand the coal out slightly and then we can also import coal up there i guess or move the power generation down here if there's water which there is yeah i can i can handle it how do you no you aren't that's true What's the key to drop stuff on belts? Is it Z? Yeah, Z. I think this is going to end up getting us in trouble. What? Someone's going to drop, like, the wrong thing on the belt. There we go. All right. How do you mine uranium? Is that a science we don't have? You need yes. sulfuric acid. Shit. I put all of my belts on you. Well, take them. I'm looking for you. Oh, you're just up there. Okay, that's okay. I'll I'll, I'll do a drive by and just take them. So, what what is what is this new shenanigan now? What do you mean? For the the interrupts, you say? Oh, uh, yeah. So basically, you can set. So I'm gonna add an interrupt. This is gonna add it globally. Okay, because I was just gonna add a station for refueling and then just add a global interrupt for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that that same concept can be applied to like um so like the the refueling concept is train doesn't have enough fuel fuel in train therefore go get fuel yeah the, the logic for the unloads for all of our trains are can be like train is full of something go to drop off that something at a place that accepts that thing so if it fills up with iron so we'd it, have to make the stations accept that thing yeah we we just need to name the stations in a certain predictable way and then it works okay todd howard okay. i'll um me add this interrupt Oh. Okay, so then this would be... I love how when it's night and the lights come on, the generators just start, the pitch goes down because they're chugging so hard. Okay, so I think I got the hang of that then. So if grenades are above a thousand, then deliver to grenade unload and then return. What did you set? So if it has more than a thousand grenades in it, it'll go bring them. Well, I mean, variable number, whatever. It'll go bring them to the grenade unload and then return. Yes. I believe but, is how this, how this but like, works. So, this, I mean, this is just the way this is set up. It's just like a normal load and unload schedule. But the way that you can set this unload, quote unquote, thing is that it says, if my cargo contains a thing, I go and drop it off at the station that is named that thing. So you can use the same unload for... You can use the same unload interrupt for every single train that would get really big i mean yeah what do you mean but it's it, i mean if you have a ton of different conditions on it it'll be the big blob of conditions right? no it's one condition so there's a new wild card which is called item parameter so it, it basically takes the item that is like most present in the cargo and then it, that is the item that gets pasted into item parameter so like it says if the cargo of like you know item parameter here is there then it can okay. go to 
So then we what would we want the station load to be? So it has to be the like icon name. So it has, it has to start with like the item parameter, the icon of it. So in this case, it would be like the grenade emoji. And then we could just put unload after that. And then that can, that generally would be, I'm just going to reset the target. Yeah, so it'll yeah be, just, just do it. Do what you need to do. And I'll take a look at it after you're done. It's, yeah, I had to read through the like thing a few times where I was like, oh, fuck. Also, this isn't yeah, the I only should. way to do it. It's just like the most straightforward way to do it. So we can evolve yeah, this I as time goes on. Yeah, I gotten to the trains in my single player because I haven't played it much. So I haven't experienced the joy of it yet. Yeah, it basically just makes this whole process twice as fast because you don't need to set unload conditions. You actually, do, you also don't need to set load conditions either because if the, if this is an interrupt, you just have to say, go to your load station and set a load so we station. we basically just make LTN and just make a depot and then it just goes to the depot and like, tells um, it to go somewhere else. Maybe. So it, it, that might be possible, but like, will they recreate LTN? Find out next time.